Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Happy Monday. We have an amazing thrift store haul to get to today. Not just saying that. It's an eclectic mix of vintage treasure and I know people throw the word eclectic around. It's actually true in this case. And there's even a few things that I found that I'm keeping you have to remember, I got into buying and selling because I collect vintage stuff. And I'm going to show you a few things that I found that are not going anywhere. I will not resell them. Now, the first thing I found, starting off hot, I found this. It is a pottery bowl. Probably like Mexico tourist art, I would say. But uh, I would also say it's from the 70s. 80s using the context clues of the fact that there's a butterfly it's orange um very popular in that time frame so um this is you know it's got it's signed there's some writing on the bottom but researching it it led me down a path to nowhere but all that said this is about a 28 29 dollar bowl because it is handmade it is old and it's perfect condition not a scratch on her. Next thing I found, at the Goodwill in Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Uniontown. This, for $3? This dusty rose diamond pattern pitcher? This is a steal. This is a slam dunk. Um, people buy pitchers because they use them. They're functional. So you might find someone buying a vintage pitcher. This is very, very sellable. And I sell a lot of pitchers. This one is, it's in, you know, it's the dusty rose color. It's very 1960s. I'll get 18 bucks easily for this pink pitcher. Next thing I found, also at Christian Crossing in Oakland, Maryland. I found this baggy of Fisher Price people. Now, Fisher Price people, iconic kids of the 70s i had this sesame street set that's the first thing i noticed when i looked down this was five dollars but it had big bird it had the cookie monster hell even franklin was in there look at that guy also uh bert from Sesame Street, from Bert and Ernie fame. So these tend to go on eBay anywhere from $8 to $12 plus shipping. I have found a whole bag. There's some that aren't part of the Sesame Street, like this clown, but people put sets of these together. They're missing pieces, so they go on eBay and they find one. Uh, this is about $35 worth of Fisher Price figures. $35 bucks for $5. So don't sleep on toys. Familiarize yourself with toys. All right, next thing I found, and I'm going to need some help on this one. Uh, I found this bowl, frosted. It looks kind of carved there. I paid $6.50 for this at Christian Crossing. Beautiful bowl. And we know it's hand-blown because of the pontal on the bottom. That's where they would break this off. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, my research guy thinks this was a mold. This was put into a mold because that's how they get that carved look because you can't carve glass. So there was maybe a carved wood mold that this was uh, poured into. If anyone knows anything about this bowl, because there's not a match on the internet. The closest thing I found was a Lalique bowl. Lalique is French glass from the, I mean, I don't know how long they've made it, but the 30s. There was a, one going back that looked similar to this, but I don't. I think Lalique is all signed. It's a very, very high end, but it does. You know, it's 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 unusual. There is no match to it on the internet, which leads me to believe this could be rare. And I don't want to sell this for twenty six bucks if this is something more than that. So let me know, all you glass people. If there's any glass experts, I have never seen this kind of carved look on a piece of glass. All right, well, now we get into the fun part. W what do I get to keep when I find something? What do I, what stops me in my tracks? Well, I found this atomic fireball counter display and I found it 
it was eight bucks. So I saw this at the uh, antique mall, Miller's Crossing in uh, Irwin, PA. This guy had this in a glass case. I had to ask the person to open up, open up. This was uh, eight bucks and uh, made by Ferrera Pan. Remember Ferrera Pan? They made all those little box candies like grape heads and lemon heads. So just one of those things that I just remember seeing this in the 80s all the time when you go to a convenience store, five cents. And I know it's kind of 80s. It doesn't go any farther back than that because of that barcode. But the graphics are great. Uh, researching this, this front flap, this part opens up. Researching this on eBay, it's about a $30 counter display. Yep, 30 bucks. I paid eight for it, so I felt pretty good about that. I'm going to buy Atomic Fireballs and fill this up and put this on my countertop. Throwback. All right, also I found this at Miller's Crossing, Pittsburgh. I was tending to my booths, and I always like to walk the whole antique mall, and the one thing that caught my eye was this. It is a coffee creamer and sugar set. Made by a company called Victory of Chicago. I'd never seen one of these in my life, but these colors pop. This was 10 bucks. You can't really see it because they'll fall off. $10. And I don't know why I have such an affinity for kitchen stuff from the 60s and 70s. My mom collects like Mixmaster. <laughs> she collects mixers and old stuff. But this one is, I just want to put this on my kitchen table and leave it you know what i'm saying just for that pop of color 10 bucks is a steal to me if i were to sell this i'd ask 28 dollars instead of 10 because you're never gonna see another one there's not another one on all of the internet so go try to find this you will not i love it next thing i found now i went into the goodwill in my hometown and I went on the right day because people had turned in their, apparently their yarn collection. And I love yarn art. It's handmade. It's weird. Uh, people put the time in. And when you see something like this, this creepy yarn clown, this was $3. And it's weird. It's like yarn, but then they put it on this like press board or something hard um but this is three bucks i'm gonna get 20 bucks for the clown now also also in that hall i found this the same person i'm guessing because they were all there together you've got the porthole with the rope this was also three dollars okay three bucks this is probably 15 bucks so 20 for the clown 15 for the ship and here is the coup de gras. I'm not a covered bridge guy. I know people are. The, what, what intrigued me about this one was the color. That is a nice, nice amount of color. The blues, the greens. Great scene. This probably took many, many weeks, I would guess, for someone to complete. It's not signed. I don't know who made it. Like, you know, usually... Some, you know, lady will put Bertha, put her name on the back or whatever. But this was also at Goodwill. This was eight bucks. A little on the high side, eight bucks. But I think it's probably a $35 uh, covered bridge yarn scene. So, you know, I don't mind making $25, $27 off of some, some Gam Gam's yarn art. I mean, come on, that's beautiful. Credit where credit's due. All right, we're down to our last item. I try not to acquire large items because they take up space in my booths at the antique mall, but I found this, and I was not going to pass it up because this is a Facebook Marketplace easy sell. We've talked about factory art, actual paintings, mass-produced paintings. This falls into that category, and I need to go get this thing. So this is a mid-mod money first. I'm actually walking out of... Uh, Walking off set, not really, but just, here it is. There it is. 
a painting by Pro look how big this is see the this is canvas this is an actual painting about four feet by five feet massive southwestern scene can you see me southwestern scene some uh, vases with dried flowers if I turn it around you can see oh you can't really see anything this was yeah it's a real painting so I found this at Goodwill nine dollars nine bucks and it says uh, Franco other people have this advertised online similar Franco similar size $499. Now, I know that's not worth $499. There's no way, but I paid nine for it. So if I could get $100, $100, put it on Facebook Marketplace, say four foot by five. If you have a wall space and you like that, that is not my thing at all. But on the back, it says 1983. So this thing is now almost 50 years old. Perfect condition canvas, oil on canvas. So you're going to tell me an original oil painting is not worth $100? So I'm asking $100. I paid nine. That's $90 profit. If you look at everything that I, that I bought, $59. Bucks. That's out of my pocket, $59. When it's all said and done, through my booths at the antique malls, maybe eBay, I'm looking at 336, 336 off of 59, and anyone can do this. I literally, I will, I will show you the ropes. Keep watching my program, Mid Mod Money. Thanks for watching, everyone, and remember to always round up.